Стою, у кого есть тобой первый привет. Так, черный идти. Так, в сторону. Олег Олегович, Аккуратнее, аккуратнее. Так, Кирилл, готов ехать? Давай скотово. We are very glad to welcome the international crew on our land in Kazakhstan. First of all, congratulations on your successful landing, on the successful completion of your expedition. We would like to wish you health. It's very symbolic that today you landed when all of us are celebrating the 80th anniversary of the city of Karagandi. And we also celebrate the 80th birthday of uh, Yuri Gagarin. Again, I would like to wish you good health. Thank you. Yes, and according to our tradition, here uh, are traditional Kazakhstan uh, suits, costumes. <laughs> and our national Kazakhstan musical instrument. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is inside is important. Really good chocolate candies are inside. They're very good. Thank you. And here is some artwork from our children. We would also like to present it to you. So this artwork is space related. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear Alex, Sergey and Mike, we, we are very glad to welcome you here on Earth. You have successfully completed your expedition and you have completed all the tasks of the expedition. So I will try to be brief. And on behalf of the Federal Agency of Air Transportation, we would like to wish you success, good health, and to recover as soon as possible. And further success in exploring the space. And here we have some gifts for you traditional Russian dolls with not so traditional faces. So you will see it for yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Does it look like me? And your questions, please. That's right. Our expedition with uh, related mostly to various activities. Uh, we 
were participating in the Olympic relay. And it was a wonderful experience for us. We were preparing for that for a very long time. We tried to do our best. We wanted to be prepared very well for this remarkable moment. So we wanted to make it beautiful also. So we tried to do our best. <laughs> So we did not have the goal to light the torch there, of course. It's very good that during this remarkable event we were able to demonstrate that our hardware operates very well and can, it can be operated for a long time. And it can be operated for a longer period of time than the standard time. So I think it's very good experience for future flights. Did you have any off nominal situations related to the torch? Well, we didn't have Olympic. flame there. I mean, the Olympic flame. That's what I mean, too. We did not light the torch. It's impossible to light torch in open space. Yeah, that's why I'm asking this question. No, we had the Olympic flame in our hearts and our souls. <laughs> I think that this question will be answered better by Sergey or Michael because it's their first time, it was their first time in space. So I'm going to fly again. I don't want to say no, but we will see. So uh, how are you going to celebrate the Gagarin's 80th birthday? So this is a very traditional question. Well, we will not only celebrate Gagarin's birthday, but we also celebrated our birthdays while we were in space. So we had very good celebrations. We were supporting each other verbally. And if there was any birthday um, in space, we were trying to support each other. The battery is dead. Oh, OK. And of course, we felt support of our families. We were calling our friends and so it was these calls were official and non-official at the same time. OK, one more question. <laughs> well, it was a very good experience for us. It's, it was a great event for us. It was a great event for uh, the Roscosmos, Russian Space Agency, and for us as crew members. And I think it was also a great experience for our international partners. Koichi is very experienced astronaut, and I believe that he is absolutely great, and he will do his job very well. <laughs> okay, so the story is the following. The first one is still with me. Uh, the second one is used as Santa Claus on board the station. And the third one, I still have it. And I have all the matryoshkas at home still. I like them.
Okay, dear colleagues, um, Oleg wants to make a present himself. No, I think we don't have any other questions for you, Oleg. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on the 80th anniversary of the city of Karagandi, our landing site. This is the flag that was at our landing site. It is signed by all crew members. Thank you. Chairman of the State Commission, Expedition 38 has been completed successfully. Thank you very much. Wish you good luck and health. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great flight. Congratulations. Expedition 38's Mike Hopkins back on Earth. Mike, welcome home. Great mission, great six months on orbit. What was it like when you and your crewmates backed away from the space station uh, that had been your home for the last six months? Your thoughts and impressions as, as you left this oasis for you up there? Well, it was a little sad. It's a little sad to leave uh, what you have called home for five and a half months. Um, and it was, uh, it was just an incredible place to get to spend uh, that, that amount of time. Uh, but at the same time, you're excited because you're getting to come home. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen the family, and I'm, I'm sure looking forward to that. You were greeted by quite the winter wonderland out at the landing site. Uh, just wondering, uh, during entry and landing, what uh, you thought was your most exciting moment? What, uh, what was that e-ticket like? And, and your, your sensations as uh, the hatch was open and you uh, finally had a chance to look out at this white, barren snowscape out there. Yeah, it, it's definitely an exciting ride. Um, I would say when the, the main parachute opens up is, is probably the most exciting part, but there are several phases of the landing of the entry that, uh, that are pretty exciting. Um, you know, when they open the hatch, there's, there's definitely this sense of just kind of a little bit of relief uh, that you've gotten through it all. Um, that you've made it back to Earth, and and so that, that feels pretty good. Um, actually, you know, it was cold out, but it felt good when the uh, when the cold air came came in, and you got to smell uh, smell the Earth again for the first time. Uh, so uh, it was just an incredible feeling. The personal theme of your mission was train like Mike. It was all about fitness, staying uh, fit on orbit, and uh, at the risk of sounding like a medical expert here, with all the medical folks around, uh, you sure look good. How important was fitness and your own personal training regimen on board uh, that contributed uh, to your ability to come home in such good shape? Well, we'll see how, how good a shape I am here over the next uh, couple of weeks. I think uh, that'll be really, we'll, we'll tell how, um, how the workouts and everything on orbit went. Um, so, you know, right now, um, it definitely feels good, but I don't feel that strong at the moment. Uh, it's, it's amazing uh, what it feels like to be under uh, 1G again. And uh, so we'll, we'll see. The, uh, the things you're looking forward to the most uh, now that you're back on Earth, foods, family, what? Uh, definitely seeing the family, seeing uh, my wife, my two sons, and uh, the rest of my relatives that are, that are going to be back in Houston when I get there. Uh, that's 
by, by far the, the most important thing that I'm looking forward to seeing. From September to now, uh, certainly uh, one of the more memorable increments uh, of all time, Expedition 37 and 38 for you. Uh, what if you had to sit down right now at a typewriter and write uh, sort of your own legacy uh, of uh, what the most uh, critical moments were of your six months on orbit, uh, how would you write that? Well, I think uh, obviously the most critical thing was when we had the, uh, the external cooling loop failure and we had to go out and replace the pump module. Um, that was a very busy time because uh, while we were preparing for that EVA, we were also keeping the option open for the, uh, the Orbital 1 still coming up and, and docking. So we weren't really sure which one of those two activities we were going to do, uh, and so we were quite busy as we tried to be prepared for either one of those options, depending on, on which was the best one to go with. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely a very intense uh, three-week period there, uh, but in the end I think it all worked out well. And finally, Mike, uh, you had the privilege and uh, the serendipity of being in orbit over the Olympic Games. Uh, that was a huge moment, obviously, for your Russian colleagues as well. Yeah. Analogy, what does the International Space Station, now that you've lived and worked on it for a half a year, what is, uh, what is the station all about? What does it symbolize? What, uh, what is its major importance? Yeah. Well, I think it symbolizes what uh, we as a human species, not as different countries, but what we as people can do uh, when we come together and we forget about uh, all the things that uh, make us different. Um, it's a, definitely a, um, it's something that can pull us all together and uh, help us learn more about uh, our life here on Earth, but then also help prepare us for our future uh, going beyond low Earth orbit. Mike Hopkins, welcome home. Fabulous uh, time on orbit. Great, great to see you. Thanks, sir.